Hey everybody, it's uh, Tuesday morning and the Road Warriors have arrived here in Wheeling, West Virginia and uh, take a look around here. What a wonderful welcome it is here in Wheeling. It is uh, wet, pretty cold, and pretty rainy here so looks like uh, we'll be staying inside at the rink and at the hotel most of the day today. Not going to be much venturing outside here at the uh, home of the Nailers. But uh, let's take a look inside here at West Banco Arena where the Road Warriors will be calling home for the next few days. This is the uh, entrance here that we use. Coming in the back here and as you make your way up the ramp you enter into the uh, main portion of the arena. You can see out on the ice there, the guys getting their work in this morning. Full team practice here today in preparation for game number three tomorrow with the series tied at a game apiece. You can see everybody out there getting their work in. Chris Beckford Sue there at the far end. Nick Riappel, game two winner down here on our right. And so they're getting used to this, uh, these new surroundings. This rink is a little bit odd. That center ice zone, uh, like we've talked about, is a lot smaller than normal rinks. It's only about 45 to 50 feet wide. In uh, most places, that will be a 60 foot wide neutral zone. So it makes things tough on the defense, and especially, it can be uh, pretty tricky. If you take a look around here, we're gonna go upstairs. I'll get, get you a look from my broadcast spot. And it's a little bit different, they keep me right up here in the midst of uh, where all the fans sit pretty much so these uh, lucky folks here in the top row get to hear me yapping away all game but uh, this is my little press row press area up here it's a pretty nice view from up here the only problem that I have the only complaint that I have is you see up on the wall there I'll try to zoom in a little bit those uh, Brass horns right by the scoreboard. Those are probably the loudest goal horns in any hockey arena in the world. And when Wheeling scores, they can uh, really be a pain. I have to go dead silent for about 30 seconds because there's no use in trying to talk over them. That's how loud they are. So uh, hopefully we won't have to hear those horns too much over the course of these games here uh, at the home of the Nailers. But uh, it's a pretty... Cool arena, it's different, it's got a different setup. You can see the uh, end zone seats there start just about above the glass. This place was built in 1977. Capacity is about 5,500 for hockey. And uh, the Nailers moved here in 1992 from Winston-Salem, North Carolina, where they were the Winston-Salem Thunderbirds for their first three years of existence. They actually played the Johnstown Chiefs where the Road Warriors had formerly been. They played the Chiefs in uh, the first ever Riley Cup Finals in 1989, so there's some a pretty cool history here between the Road Warriors and Nailers in their uh, former lives. Out back there, you can see that's the Ohio River directly behind us. Wheeling is a, uh, I guess we would call a port city. It was a big steel town being located right on the river. There was a lot of uh, exporting of steel when the mills were up and running at full tilt like a lot of these towns here in uh, western Pennsylvania eastern Ohio and Wheeling is just about on the Ohio border you can drive about 10 minutes and you'll be in the next state over but this is the concourse area here you can see they have some pretty cool displays of all the uh, Ohio Valley sports stars from around the time you can see some of the stuff hanging on the walls there they've got that going all the way around the concourse here in this building and it's different they've got the carpeted concourse not a lot of places have that carpeting down and it uh, just makes for a little bit of a different feel and they've got the steps here I'm trying to get down to show you where they have some of the uh, concession areas and things like that but it looks like got a ways to go to try to get there as you see more of the memorabilia up on the walls but uh, it's a pretty cool building it's a it's a fun place to work a game the crowds can get really loud here even if they're uh, not very big so um, like you said a lot of fun to work in this building and I actually have some pretty cool memories here myself I played a handful of games here in about 10 years ago some high school hockey and some travel hockey when uh, I was still living in Johnstown Pennsylvania playing for the Forest Hills Rangers and Johnstown Warriors travel hockey program. So um, 
it's pretty cool to be back here. Looking forward to uh, these three games here at West Banco Arena. Hopefully three wins for the Road Warriors. That would wrap up the series. I don't think that's very likely. Uh, we'll probably be headed back to the Bilo Center for game six and maybe game seven, but got to wait and see how that all plays out. And when I check in with you tomorrow, we will have the preview for game three. We'll check in from the morning skate and get you ready for the evening's actions. So that'll be the uh, next edition of my playoff video diary, and I hope you guys all have a great day back in Greenville, and we'll talk to you tomorrow. See you later.